All right, there we go. I was not going to make a video today, but I'm a little fed up. And I wrote down on a piece of paper a few things that I was thinking, and I saw some things online. I'm going to go one direction. I'm going to use this direction as a talking point, but where I'm headed, if you'll stay with me to the end, it has nothing to do with this, only maybe a little in part, but just stay with me. And I'm going to make a point. I don't know if the title of this is Enough is Enough, or I'm Fed Up, or an old man is yelling at cloud. But I, I'm unapologetic about this. And I think, I suspect, I speak for a lot of y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Might be a mess. You may want to buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. This is their double clip. I talk about it pretty regular. I'm not sure if y'all have seen this one. Got the double clip, two here. You can wear it inside or you can use these belt loops and wear it outside the waistband if you want to. This one's also set up for an optic. It's got the optic cut in there. Fantastically made. Super, super soft and super comfortable. All day comfort. HiddenHybridHolsters.com. Check them out. Use their drop down menus. They're fun. You get a lot of cool stuff over there. HiddenHybridHolsters.com. Big thank you to those folks. You people, thank you for every thumbs up. Now, I'm going to go in this one direction and don't like, don't get too distracted with what this is. This is this is just a path to where we're going. Yes, I am old. I'm on the wrong side of 50. I'm, I'm, I'm months away. And a year and a half away from being 50. And so the, the America that I know, the America that I love, the America that, that I, I grew up with, that y'all grew up with, has ceased to exist in a lot of ways. I saw a thing just the other day, and it was a high school teacher explaining verbiage to some students. Yeah, and there's sometimes that we explain things to people. Hey, we don't talk like this anymore. We now say this. Uh, it's maybe you want to say uh, Asian American rather than Oriental. That's from the Big Lebowski. But it, language changes, and there is a time. There's a time and a place to explain to younger people, okay, we've stopped saying this. We're now saying this. However, there was a high school teacher ranting to this group because they had called somebody a pedo, and she said no. It is minor attracted person. They are a person that is attracted to minors. I am not willing to make that jump. I am not. And that's not what this is about. I'm not willing though. I'm not willing. We're at the point now where we're having to get upset. We're having to actually have... I don't even understand how we have to have a conversation. Oh, should we have, should we have drag shows in kindergarten? Should there be such thing as child-friendly and kid-friendly drag events. I'm going to say, no, I don't care what adults do on their own time behind closed door. I don't care. But why do they feel the need, why, to bring children into this? Why? And there's a lot of different areas I wrote down today. That was one, like this minor attracted person thing and changing the verbiage of that and accepting it in. There's a new movement in, in the flag that's got all the different colors on it and all the symbols to get MAP people on there. And I'm, no, no, no. Why? Why do they have to groom children? Why do we have to fight about talking about sex in first, second grade? We have these books that y'all have seen that have been coming before school boards where people are saying, uh, no, we don't need to teach sexual positions to first and second graders. They are being groomed and that is not Okay, that's the pathway to get to here. So I'm not really trying to talk about those three things. The groomers and what goes on in the classroom, the drag shows and the MAPs. What I want to say is this, when's enough enough? Can you imagine walking up to Andy Griffith and walking up to Barney and saying, hey, we're going to have a drag show down at the elementary school? They would they, no. The answer is no. So much has been shifted and we have shifted so far. And here's my major point for the day is that it's no longer, hey, we want to do this, but do this, you know, by ourselves. We want to do, you know, have things that we do in the privacy of our homes and do whatever. Now it's if you and I don't accept that, you're now an ist, ism. You're now going to have a label and no longer be accepted. And we are moving to the point now where, where you have to line up with the narrative. On this video on YouTube, you can't leave a thumbs down. Why? Well, you can, but the, it's not there anymore. Because the White House, YouTube is protecting the White House. The White, I don't know if y'all know that. They took away the dislike button or the dislike that you could use to see it. But they took that away and you can't show dislikes anymore because of protecting the child sniffer. And they're protecting a literal pedo and making sure that the narrative stays positive towards him. 
He on 60 Minutes last night filleted himself. It was an absolute horror show. And he did it to himself. How much is enough? This slippery slope that we have, have found ourselves on of moral decay, and moral decay and moral decline, it seems like there is no end. I'm not willing to compromise with, with a lot of folks. And I, there's a lot of things I'm okay with. There's a lot of things I'm willing to say. If it's consenting adults, I don't care. But when it comes to children and it comes to traditional American values, I refuse to back down.